Two months ago, I worked in business and marketing. I had no programming skills, and today I'm working full-time as a JavaScript developer, getting paid from day one of learning by joining a coding bootcamp. In this video, I will tell you how I got here and how you can do the same. So how do you get a job as a developer with no experience? The short answer is boot camps. And to give you an idea of how fast you can get hired for a programming job, let me tell you a bit about my background. Before the last two months, I would have never considered myself a developer, let alone loving it. I'm 30 years old, I have a degree in mechanical engineering that I never used as I found it boring and old school. I've worked most of my career in business and marketing. I was never really fond of math or particularly interested in computers. And during my engineering studies, I had one assignment in the programming language Python. And I remember being so uninterested and so I thought it was just so boring that I was like, Whew, I'm glad I didn't uh, start computer science degree like many of my friends did. I thought I'd really dodged the bullet. So how did I end up becoming a developer? Well, through my career, I had to create and manage a number of websites, and I used website builders like Squarespace, Wix, Kajabi, and many others. And through sheer necessity, I had to figure out how to tweak these websites to look differently than the original click and drag templates. This is where my interest in coding uh, sparked. I basically started Googling how to do certain things like removing the footer on the mobile or removing the navigation. And the solutions that popped up were usually CSS code, which is the programming language used to style websites. And up until three months ago, my knowledge of programming stayed pretty much the same. I googled something I needed, I copy pasted a bunch of code I had no idea what did, in the hopes of one eventually giving me the results I wanted. Sometimes it did, oftentimes it didn't. <laughs> and three months ago I was deeply reconsidering my career choice. I was very curious about how real programming was and how interested I would be in it, so I started doing a bit of coding on a free website called Free Code Camp. I absolutely loved it. I happened to tell my sister and two Two days later she sends me a link she finds by random to an intensive three-month program a JavaScript bootcamp and what a bootcamp does is that it is an intensive course aimed at teaching you all the relevant industry skills in a very short amount of time usually three or four months and this path of getting into developing has become very popular so I read the ad I found it interesting I applied to, with the online logic test and a couple of days later I got a call from them and over a couple of weeks I was interviewed and hired to join their bootcamp the deal I signed was that they pay me for my training they find a suitable workplace for me and after the training in return they get a share of my salary for a year so today I'm paid to learn something completely new and I've gotten an easy and extremely fast entry into an exciting industry so for me this is a really good win-win deal so is joining a bootcamp the right thing for you well you have three main options if you want to get a job as a developer and I'm gonna walk you through the research I did when choosing for myself so you can be more informed of your choice with that said everyone is biased especially on the internet and everyone will base their own assumptions on their own experience Experience. Therefore, take everything I say with a grain of salt, watch more videos on the topic, find someone who disagrees with me, make up your own mind before you commit to anything. Remember though that in the end, a suboptimal decision is way better than no decision and not starting at all. Option number one is traditional school, usually getting a computer science degree, which is depending on your country, either paid or free and has entry qualifications like high school grades to get in. By now, however, there is such a lack of developers worldwide and there's a huge incentive by companies to hire people with the right skills despite lacking a diploma. And people with computer science degrees might be the first to tell you that getting a degree might be a waste of time, um, as the curriculum is not very hands-on and most of the time you spend on the school bench, you're not learning to code. It will definitely help you get a job. Most people who are hired as developers do have a degree and it will definitely help you negotiate a better, better salary for your first job and down the line. But you do have to take into account the three or more years you're gonna have to put down into your degree, which by the end of it might not even teach you relevant industry skills and has probably costed you a lot more money and potentially kept you from starting to work even sooner. So university degrees I find are starting to become a thing of the past, especially in a quickly changing industry where as a developer you constantly have to be learning and adapting and traditional curriculum just can't keep up. Therefore, I would only recommend getting a degree in computer science or similar. If you're young, you want to study for the first time, 
coding sparks an interest. And as an experience, generally, a student life is really good. You grow a lot um, and it helped me become an adult, certainly. And I do think it provides a lot of growth. Uh, for many people and you do learn a lot of useful things like how many beers you can drink while still finding your way back to your dorm. Seriously though, uh, being a student can be a really wonderful time and for many people that will be the right choice. If you have the time and commitment for three years in school full time, I don't think you're going to regret it. But for anyone looking to re-educate themselves like me, I would not recommend it because of the alternatives out there. One of which is being self-taught, aka teaching yourself using books, online courses, uh, looking at the documentation online. Teaching yourself can be a real value as it's much cheaper than any other option. Usually you're going to be spending, even if you pay for a course, much less than you would spend for tuition fees, books, calculators. I had to pay for the most expensive calculator in the world back when I was studying. It was ridiculous. Really good at doing calculus. Yeah, about that joke. You can, however, teach yourself completely free, like the website I used, Free Code Camp. I found it to be one of the best sites out there to learn from me personally, where there's a lot of hands-on tutorials and exercises with interactive feedback, where you increasingly do more challenging tasks that culminate into bigger projects like creating a portfolio. And they also do have a very good YouTube channel, which I'm going to link below in the description. Compared to many other career paths, I find the developer community to be quite open to hiring people with no formal degree. Your skills are first and foremost the priority, and it seems to become more and more popular to hire people this way. With that said, you will see a lot of job listings which specify they are not considering self-taught candidates. And I think that's something important to acknowledge if you're gonna go down this path. In essence, it means that your options will be more limited than with a degree. I would recommend the self-taught path for people with limited time to learn, who have a full-time job, but who know they want to switch to programming in the long term. And they don't mind waiting for the right company to come along uh, to hire you because they value your skill over your lack of degree. Option three, and the one I went for, is completing a bootcamp. This is usually a paid full-time intensive program. In my case, I paid nothing up front. I got a laptop and all the tools I needed to attend. In return, they take a cut from my paycheck as I start working as a consultant for them for a minimum duration of a year. The benefit of this option is that there are no formal qualifications needed to get in. We were people from all walks of life, I think an average age of 30, some with a master's degree, others with only a high school diploma. So it can be really good deal for people wanting to career switch, and it's often marketed in this way. The downsides by joining a bootcamp can be an extensive interview process. We were 18 people selected in the bootcamp amongst hundreds of applicants. So there were no formal requirements, but you still have to qualify. And the key to making the cut, I found, is to show that you are highly motivated to learn, show that you are capable of solving logical problems, and show that you are very interested in the languages that you are going to learn. And in my case, that was JavaScript. Another downside is that you have to pay for it, in my case, out of my salary, and sometimes there's even an upfront cost. The benefits, however, is that this is absolutely the shortest track you can take to starting your career within software development. You want to work in front-end, back-end, data science, video games, then there is a boot camp out there that will get you there in three months. And as with my case, there are often very good incentives to join the boot camp because you will be getting into your first job immediately, getting experience, and by the time you would have taken to get a degree in three years, you will have three years of work experience under your belt. Many people would probably not like signing off um, a piece of their salary for, a, for an agreed upon time, because essentially this makes your starting salary lower than it would be. But for others like me, and maybe you, it's a win-win situation as you get a fast track into an industry without jumping through all the hoops of a formal education. I would highly recommend the bootcamp path if you are like I was, you've been working for a few years, you want to change your your career, but you don't want to go back to being a full-time student with no paycheck. In addition, it's perfect for you if you like a fast-paid learning style, you want to go into programming as fast as possible, and you only want to learn the skills that are relevant for the job market. So with all of that said, any decision once again is better than no decision. If you really want to see how programming is, 
my advice is to just start learning like with a free website I mentioned, Free Code Camp. Programming is really not as difficult and as cryptic as it might seem. It's a skill like anything else and anyone can learn it. I hope you really liked this video. I would appreciate if you click the thumbs up button so YouTube shows it to more like-minded people. This is the first video of many on this channel and there will be plenty more on a weekly basis where I share my journey on how to become a developer, how to get your first job, tools and strategies to learn more effectively and my reflections on becoming a developer and even some coding advice and practical tutorials for beginners. So I recommend subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you get notified for the next videos and you can experience for yourself how fast you can actually become a developer. With that said, I wish you a very good day and I'll see you in the next one.